Coming up on today's Outdoor Secrets, western scenery in a state too many hunters overlook. Pretty country, isn't it? Hunting in the shadow of California's awe-inspiring giant redwoods. This is amazing. Pure strain Colombian black-tailed deer, which only reside from Northern California into the Pacific Northwest and coastal British Columbia. There's a nice old buck. My long-awaited blacktail hunt. We've got what they consider a pretty nice buck up over top of this hill here down in the gully. A 12-year-old boy's luckiest days. Good Thank job. you. Good job. Good Thank good you. job, buddy. An estate game and fish program that allows landowners to manage their own hunting seasons and harvest rates in return for improving wildlife habitat. When my daughter was 12 and wanted to hunt in Alaska, I took her on a Sitka blacktail deer hunt, one of the two mule deer subspecies found in North America. Squeeze. Remember to squeeze. Dead deer. Good shot. We each took really nice Sitkas. Good job. Find two bucks. And we got two bucks, kid. And it was following those experiences that I added the only other blacktail subspecies to my wish list. Last year, I finally hooked up with Wade Derby from Crosshair Consulting to check the adventure off. What Crosshair Consulting is, is uh, I'm a hunting liaison service. I put hunters together with outfitter clients. I go and research the, the locales. I make sure that the facilities are adequate, that the hunting's good, that the people that you're with are reputable. And I put the hunters together with the outfitter and I have about 90 outfitters worldwide. Wade immediately set me up with Wes Moore, manager of the Cottrell Ranch, which may be just the best managed property of all for Colombian blacktail deer. The Cottrell Ranch has been in Leslie's family since 1865, and it consists of two parcels. The one we are hunting on is 6,500 acres, and the summer ranch, which is down the roadways, is 7,000. Just because of the nature of the way your ranch is laid out and your ranch roads are laid out, I assume you do a lot of your initial finding by exactly what we're doing here, driving? Yeah, you, it's a fine line though. If you drive it too much, you make all the deer move off. Oh, sure. So a lot of times I'll walk into areas and try to sneak out without them knowing we're here. But this ranch is tougher to scout, um, you know, unless you're driving. We get a lot of rain up here, so we have a lot of uh, fur um, mixed in with some oak woodlands and some open ground. It's real diverse. Here it's coming. Oh yeah, it's a good buck too. Now is that a shooter? He's real close to being a shooter. I'm seeing my first Columbia blacktail buck through my binos, and he doesn't know we're here. I don't think people realize much about California's potential for hunters and fishermen and, and what kind of countries here and the amount of game that's here and, and the variety of game. Not too many places you can find pure strain Columbia blacktail, but where we're at is one of them. We take this responsibility really seriously, you know, to manage this ranch for generations to come. And, you know, the blacktail herds as a, as a whole are on a decline because of loss of habitat. Predators are a big issue, and so we do what we can, and we spend a lot of extra expense to, uh, you know, to help the deer. Good luck. Thanks, man. Huh. <laughs> then there's Cody Derby, Wade's 12-year-old son, who's been waiting to come of age to take a blacktail buck too. Such a strapping young lad, and as you can see, on that first afternoon, while looking for bucks, a very different kind of opportunity presented itself to him. You got one. Come on, go straight down there. A good one. Yeah. 
That's the way to get them, Cody. Okay, let's load up your turkeys, guys. God, you have some beautiful trees. Continuing down California on a Columbia blacktail hunt, the key to management for this unique subspecies of mule deer is habitat management and selective harvest of only the oldest bucks. He's either a forked horn or a three-pointer, um, but he looks like he's possibly four years old, and that buck needs a couple more years before we would consider shooting him. So as my hunt continues, we'll take a look at how these are implemented here at the Cottrell Ranch. We enrolled in the private land management program. Um, it would be seven years ago. And uh, it's a partnership with the Fish and Wildlife of California to uh, improve the habitat for the deer. I'm intrigued by this whole management idea where the state gives you as the landowner the right to um, control the animals. but. Part of that is comes with the responsibility of controlling the flora and the fauna and the everything else, the entire ecosystem. Yep. You make a plan, you stick to it. And sure. It's and really that's why good. you've got the. That's why we're seeing bucks running around. Yep. Every other corner, at least. We get a lot of satisfaction out of knowing we're doing the right thing. You know, for the ranch. Trying to get acorns off that tree. You know, for the deer, for the cattle, for the timber industry. You know, we we get a lot of satisfaction out of trying to do the right thing. You know, and it, it's a big responsibility and you have to take it seriously. These oaks right here, you, and you see how all these firs are. Little fern trees. Pretty soon over here, they'll overstory the oaks. They take all the nutrients out of the ground away from the oaks and then the oak tree dies and then you have no feed for the deer. So part of the management plan of the ranch then is you have got to go in by hand and cut all these little fir trees out in the areas of the oaks in order to uh, keep the habitat the way you want it for the critters. If you look at fish and wildlife statistics, the average age of a blacktail shot on public land is two and a half. And uh, our deer usually average around seven years of age. And uh, our trophy class deer are sometimes older than that. How old do you think that buck is? You know, that buck's got some age on him um, because of how heavy he is, heavy based. That's what I thought. That's a good heavy animal. His threes on the front are kind of going away, and they, they do that when they get old. They start getting smaller pretty, like next year he'll probably just be a big old fucking horn <laughs> with brow tines. PLM program, it costs you a great deal of additional money to be in the program because you pay the fish and wildlife to be in the program, and you pay extra for the tags, and you, you know, you're out of pocket to do the habitat work. So it's a, you know, it's a, a lot of extra expense being in the PLM program, but it's the right thing to do, so it's, you know, it's necessary. This buck has been real predictable here lately, and that's unusual for blacktail, but he's, he's just coming out and he beds, he beds right there and watches those does, waiting for one to get ready, huh? Get ready for him. There should be four or five does down there with him somewhere. That's why we gotta be careful when we're slipping in there because there's gonna be quite a few eyes. We've got what they consider a pretty nice buck up over top of this hill here down in the gully. Spotted him from quite a distance away. You're gonna try and slip in and take a look at him. And if he's what they think, maybe it's my turn to get lucky. God, I can't believe that I'm gonna try and get into position here to harvest my first Columbia blacktail deer. We're gonna try to get down to this little brush right in front of this rock and slip around. And then, you know, it's hopefully I don't screw up and uh, deer boogers, because these things are really, really spooky. Hey, all these deer are looking at us down there. We're gonna have to stay fairly low, too. We knew the wind was in their favor, and uh, uh, we used the terrain to every ounce that we could. Isn't that him right there, to the right side there? And it was like, wow. I mean, it was better than wow, it was incredible. How far is it, Jim? 214 yards, babe. I won't take the shot until I feel I can absolutely dump him. I think I can, right now. Nice shot. Thanks. Good job, babe. Good job, babe. Good job, good, good shot. Thank you, sir. We appreciate good shots. We were after Columbia blacktail in the heart of native Columbia blacktail range. 
These are a unique kind of a critter, something, gosh, if you like the deer hunt, this is another kind of a deer you have to go after. And I am so glad I did. The buck has quite a bit of age on him, but I'm guessing this buck is seven years old. Really? Like seven and a half by looking at his teeth. His teeth are loose. He's real Roman nosed, um, either right in his prime or just a touch past it. A really good buck to harvest um, and a real good representative of the blacktails around this area. Somebody's been beating on him. Hair missing off of his back. Um, this, this is an old buck. Thank you, sir, so much. This is one off of an old feller's bucket list. I'm glad we could help. Okay, welcome back to California, where no effort is being spared to gain young Cody Derby all the thrills of his first Columbia blacktail deer hunt. And following my kill on day one, another even bigger buck stepped out below. Come here, come here, Cody. Cody, Psst. That's that three-pointer, I think. Do you see him over here, Cody? He's over here. He's a good buck, too. It's gonna be about 250. Boy, that's a beauty. That's a really good deer. It's like a hole in the brush and he's standing in it. He's right there. You got a perfect shot. Shot over him. Boy, that's a big buck. For young and veteran hunters alike, Missing is simply sometimes part of the game. All one can do is shrug it off, reset the old determination, and keep trying. Next morning found Cody and the guys all out early doing exactly that. I think he scores over 120. I think he's stroking. Good pass. It, it's a thrill to see kids hunting, especially my own son. Don't rush the shot, okay? Okay. Just get in the position. When you're up there, make sure your sight's lined up. Right behind the shoulder, and squeeze. There's a lot of kids that are growing up in urban areas these days that aren't exposed to this sort of lifestyle, to this tradition. It's good to pass it on. Okay, Cody, see, see if you can get him in your skull there if you feel comfortable. Uh, my son Cody happened to uh, have his 12th birthday and he's already become an avid hunter, but here in California, you have to be 12 years of age in order to legally hunt big game. We got plenty of time because he doesn't know we're here, so just make sure you put it down by his elbow where it's bedded. Okay. Okay, so whenever you feel good. You got him. That is a stud. Thank you. Cody, good job. Thank you. Good job, Cody. Good job, buddy. I would thank uh, my dad because uh, he really helped me out and told me the right things to do and stay calm. The Moore family for all the good stuff that they provided us with and uh, let me get a big black tail buck. Thank you. <laughs> wow. That looks good. That's a buck of a lifetime, son. He's every bit as good as we thought he was. The problem is, Cody, it's all downhill from here. When you start with one this big, it's hard to keep going up every year. Oh, he's a beautiful buck, buddy. Just be thankful that we got him. What a great opportunity, buddy. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Again, thank you, Jimmy. That way, that was good. Thank good you. job, Cody. Thank That's you. A perfect buck. Thank you. If you're looking for the perfect, well-managed place to go hunting for Columbia blacktails or local California species, I can't recommend the Cottrell Ranch more highly. And Wade Derby at Crosshair Consulting is the guy to hook you up. You said I know a great place <laughs> for uh, blacktail bucks. Yeah. But I have come to know, you know the outfitting business like hardly anybody I've ever met. Thank you. In fact, whatever the hunt you're looking for anywhere in the world, he's the man for setting it up and handling every detail. A long, long list of satisfied clients, including me, says it all. Again, that's Crosshair Consulting. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. And good shot, too. The Great Taste from Chris's Kitchen, brought to you by the Great Taste of Johnsonville Sausage. Hey, everybody. Today, I've got a super hearty venison bean medley recipe that I am just so excited to share. Sure, you can make it with wonderful blacktail deer, 
like Babe brought home from California last November. But this recipe works equally well on all kinds of venison you happen to have. And gang, this one sure falls into the category of just brown. Dump in a bunch of good stuff and cook real slow. So watch how easy venison bean medley is to make. So we're gonna start with the black tail and it's ground. And we're gonna put our onions in with it as well. And while this is frying, I'm gonna add my season to go backfire barbecue seasoning. And mix that around. Adds a nice little flavor to it. Okay, I'm gonna let that brown up. And I am going to start with just pork and beans right out of a can, kidney beans, a cup of ketchup, some bacon, and I like a lot of bacon in ours, butter beans, brown sugar, vinegar, dry mustard, chili powder, and hot sauce. And that's gonna be up to you. And just mix that up real good. And as soon as this black tail is all browned up, we're just gonna add it to all of our beans. Mix that a little bit, mix that up. So we're gonna take this right off to the crock pot now. We're gonna let it slow cook for about two to three hours. And you're gonna just so much enjoy this recipe and a perfect way to use your wild game. That's Venison Bean Medley, and thanks so much for letting me show you how it's done. The reasons I had for coming away with the newfound appreciation for California last fall were many. There's so much more than meets preconceived notions about the state for sportsmen to enjoy. Spectacular scenery, wildlife of so many kinds running wild, world-class outfitters like the Cottrell Ranch, were perfectly set up for taking hunters, and of course, the Colombian black-tailed deer. What a wonder they are. Oh yeah, and there's one other very special California attraction that I absolutely must share before we have to go today. Watch this. Hey, uh, we just happened to stop here at a state park that's real close to where we've been hunting blacktails, where they have giant redwoods. Now, I'm a big fella, 6'3", Look at this, this is a small one. You can't even see the top. And these are not big ones. It's just an awe. There's very few things I think in the world as majestic as the gargantuan trees. And in North America, there certainly are no trees like the giant redwoods. Thanks so much to everyone who made today's shows possible and for allowing me to check yet another amazing hunting adventure off my list. And to Cody Derby, the two-in-one-shot turkey taker. Congratulations also on your first blacktail buck. Welcome to the fraternity. And may a lifetime full of hunting bring you the same rewards it's brought me over all these years. I'm Babe Winkleman. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, everybody, hey, good hunting.